Hello everyone and welcome back. It is Francesco here. Now we will be diving into the alpha version of Bear's new editor. So just to be clear, this is early access as in it's an alpha version and I will be doing a fuller, more detailed review on Keep Productive. And as you can imagine at the moment, uh, in this testing period, it's only available through this um, this Mac extension uh, called Panda. So it's not actually going to have uh, bolted on the other features. It's just going to have the newer sort of editing features. So I'm going to open this up and I'm going to show you around what is new inside of this version. So the editor obviously has been helpful for a while in being able to produce markdown. Uh, useful for scripting, useful for writing long form pieces. Many people are using this as both their default note taker and also long form writing. So let's demonstrate. Um, and the first thing you can do is obviously add um, some headings um, and you can do that uh, by going up to the top and choosing a range of six headings like you would previously. Now, the thing that you can do uh, inside of this is it's called nested styles. So for example, if I um, wanted to add some italicize uh, a certain part of this, so I could say heading uh, one, let's say, I can now italicize inside of another um, experience. So for example, even if I went down here and uh, I chose to select um, bold, for example, uh, using some simple markdown you see there, um, I can even, if it's in a larger bolder sentence, I can actually go inside of this and uh, as you can see, I can even add uh, an italicized I in there. So that means that you can just continue to edit further and deeper within your pieces of work. So let's just delete that in that example. Now, the other thing you can do is you can go ahead and add animated GIFs now. And if you go to the top, press insert image. Now, as you can imagine, folks, this is gonna look totally different. So I'm just gonna select the GIF in this case. So as you can see here, uh, this is a GIF, and if you click into it, it will start pay playing. But this just adds another layer of multimedia. Um, so as you can imagine, uh, I can go ahead and retitle this to uh, Pasties <laughs> for Cats. Um, and naturally, I've already got a GIF working. And if I wanted to pause it, I could just press and click into that again. Now, one of the things that they've changed inside of this is it's now um, something called uh, Common Markdown, um, and I think it's GitHub Enabled Markdown. Um, I'm not sure exactly what that means because I'm not in that industry, but apparently it's something that is more favored in the um, Markdown space. Now, as you can imagine with the editor, you can normally do lists, ordered lists, to-dos, quotes, and things like that. But there's now a table ability, which some people have been wanting to having for a while. Now, as you can see, when you open up the table, it's not going to be something you'd find inside of an application like Notion. Um, you can say, for example, um, cat name and uh, capacity type, for example. And naturally, um, you can do all of the regular stuff you would with a basic table. Now, these sort of tables remind me of uh, Evernote sort of style tables. You can ask for a co after a column after. You can add rows, move rows, delete rows, and even align the columns to the center, for example. Uh, and you can do that on this side too. You can align the comment to the center and you can even add the regular sort of markdown or just general um, the styles inside of that too. So as just an example, you can see here that uh, obviously it works fairly well in terms of being a, a very basic table ability. Looks fairly nice when embedded inside of any bare notes. Now inside of this as well, when you obviously access it, you can go up to format here and you can go down to footnote. Now footnotes are quite helpful for adding uh, little notes alongside, for example, for bibliographies and things like that. So in this case, I could um, reference an article um, down here and once I press done, that will go into the footnote. And as you can imagine, if I click into this, you'll be able to see that footnote there. So for example, if I referenced an article or another piece of research, then that might be helpful for those users. Now, although I can't demonstrate on here, um, apparently the new editor is good for right to left languages. I believe that applies to Arabic, Persian, and a range of other languages. I'll make sure to include them on screen as well. So that is the majority of the updates that are available in this new editor. 
Um, there will be a few other ones, including code snippets and improved um, styling. However, I think this update is a nice addition, especially for those bad users who have wanted them for a while, but also are looking to improve. But we'll do a coverage of the news when it's out, because obviously this is still early access. Anyway, folks, I hope you found this one interesting. Hopefully it gave you a bit of an idea. If you're new here to this channel, please do subscribe and I look forward to our next video. Cheers, everyone. Bye.